When two-year-old James Leininger started having nightmares of a plane crash, the last thing his parents, Bruce and Andrea, ever expected to be the cause was a previous life where he died in a plane crash because they did not believe in the theory of reincarnation. The Leiningers were very surprised to find out that the evidence pointed to their son, James, having been this man in a previous life. I was very surprised when I found out that reincarnation was true also because I grew up believing that we only had one life and that was it. I didn't know that we got another chance to finish unfinished business. James Houston died in terror and agony at being burned alive and those feelings were still present in his future lifetime, James Leininger. A film crew heard about this story and took young James to Japan to the site of the crash and he wept and wept and wept and he was able to let those feelings out and his nightmares stopped. Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Stone, author of Invisible Roots, How Healing Past Life Trauma Can Liberate Your Present. James Leitinger's story is right on target with the way the soul encodes information. When we have unresolved trauma from a previous life, it bleeds through into our present lifetime. And until we resolve that, we're bound by the chains of that trauma. The good news is there's an even easier way to heal from past life trauma that doesn't involve flying to the actual place it happened. It's using the brand new field called energy psychology in which you just visualize the trauma and then you gently tap on points on the body that correspond to the organs that were affected by that trauma. I outline the complete protocol in my book. My book also has 10 case histories where people healed from past life trauma in other times and places. Ancient China, the Jamestown Colony, and the Trail of Tears, just to name a few. Quantum physics teaches that all time is really now, so the unresolved trauma from past lives affects us in the present. Clearing this past life trauma can really free us from the chains of the past. And you might just have a big surprise yourself at what could happen to you if you were truly free.